What is up guys, welcome to end of the video and today we are on a Visual the Extreme stage for the brand new Let's Play. It was overwhelming, the amount of people who wanted to see this come back, um, yeah, like I said, it was overwhelming. I didn't expect so many people to actually want to see Initial D, but since you guys want it, we'll do it. And obviously, if the series drops off, we can then just do go on to something else in the future. But for now, this is going to kind of be the ongoing Let's Play on the channel. So I've literally only just created a save. We're going to do the character customization, and we're going to go from there. Right. So now we actually get to do the character customization. Now. It is all in Japanese, so I'm just gonna have to do do a bit of trial and error here, really. I'm assuming this this top one is the hairstyle we're gonna go for. I think that one's probably the best out of all of them. As if I can have red eyebrows. The character customization in this, um, it's not amazing. It's not like current day levels, but you know, it's not exactly it doesn't really matter too much to be honest. It's not really something which is that big of a deal. Um it's just nice, I guess, they included it. They legit don't actually have any, like, brown skin colours. That's the that's the darkest it gets. I mean, that's not far away from me, but if you were black and you want to play this game, phew, well, you can't customise the characters the way you want it to be. Right, I think I'm done. I think that's how the character's going to be. I actually kind of like how that turned out. It does look a bit Japanese. It is a Japanese game, I can forgive that, but it looks a bit like me. So as you can see from the right hand side, we have got a bunch of manufacturers, Japanese manufacturers specifically, and I actually don't know what car I want to go with. I don't want to go with an R32 because I've done that already, um, and I've done an EK9 already as well, and an S2K. So I want to kind of go with something a bit different. I think this is going to be the hardest choice out of the whole Let's Play. What car do we go with? Because we don't want to mess up here really. Let's go with an S15. I do like this car, and I know there's a lot of good options for the customization for it. So we're going to go for the S15. I've never played through this game with any Sylvia, period. So we're going to go ahead and go for the S15. We can pick a colour for it as well. I think I'm going to pick the blue. I think the blue looks the best. Um, and we're obviously going to use manual. And I think we're just going to go from there, really. Now, we can also do our license plate. Like I said, I'm, from, I'm not from Japan, so this means absolutely nothing to me. And we also can't even make it a English number plate. So I'm just going to put a bunch of... Circles. I get the money! Okay, so that is all of the setup done. We can actually now move on to the main career mode. Now, the first few races are going to be really, really easy. But then the difficulty kind of just ramps all the way up um, once you get into, like, the third mountain, the third mountain pass. Um, but anyway, we're going to go straight into the first race here um, against Itsuki. That was his name. I forgot him in the last episode. Uh, and hopefully, we should just slap him. It should be pretty easy, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into this. Okay. So, again, this is a cutscene, but, you know, like I said earlier, it's all in Japanese. I have no clue what he's saying. If you were Japanese, that would probably be really cool, but I'm English. Bit of an issue. Right, so here we go. He's in his AE85. We're in our S15. Now, the physics in this game are really mixed. They're, like, really, really slidey, and to add to the frustration, I can't see the rev counter again because my mic's in the way. I'm going to have to move you guys. I need to see the rev counter. Right, that's a lot better. Now I can actually see where I'm going. Right, so the physics in this game compared to the PS2 version are a lot more slidey. It's not as good, really. And when you're not using a wheel on this game, it honestly makes everything 10 times harder. This is a game that was meant to be played with a wheel. You know, it's literally an arcade game. Using a stick on this is so hard. And sadly, my Thrustmaster just doesn't work with this game. I think it's a game that only works with the Logitech wheels. Come here, boy! One thing I've noticed immediately is there's like a bit of dead zone in the stick. So when I'm like putting it ever so slightly to the right, it doesn't move. Like at all. He's actually whipping me right now. I'm actually getting full on whipped. Come here! What the fuck? How is he so far in the lead? We should be able to just get away straight ahead now. Now, I haven't actually watched Initial D in a very long time. I used to I used to be a really, really big fan. But obviously, once you've watched it, like, I'm not one of those types of people to re-watch something again. Unless it's Fast and Furious, I can make an exception for that. So I do apologise if I get some of the characters' names wrong. Like, it took me a, a minute to realise that it, this guy's called Itsuki. Like, I had to think about it for a second. Also, really weird how they've got, like manufacturers like advertising on the side like you'll see Nismo and Honda like publicizing their brands when this is illegal 
street drifting. Doesn't make a lot of sense, really. We are now absolutely lacing him right now at almost 200 meters in front. Just wait to the later battles. Just wait to the later battles where it's virtually impossible to do anything. It's actually going to be awful. Might be easier in third person cam since I'm not using wheel. To be fair, this game doesn't look awful. Not sure when it came out. Um, I think it's around 2009, 2010. It still doesn't look that bad. But anyway, that's the first race one easy win. And um, we should get some credits for that. Which one do I press? Yes. Right, there we go. So we're going to get some credits. Again, this is very similar to the PS2 version I played a few days ago. Um... And we're going to put those credits towards rims. Unlike the PS2 version, you can actually customise cars in this game. Um, so I can make it completely different if I want to. And we will do that in future episodes. Ooh. We are now on to race number two. And this one is with Takami, but he's in the A85. Yeah, it's his A85. So again, shouldn't be particularly hard, but it's definitely going to be a step up from what we just did. Honestly, these opening races aren't exactly the most interesting not gonna lie dumb racks talk about how they fun stacks when he's seeing you in the street he don't see none of that damn playboy fuck is the hummer act right we need to start catching up right now because this is ridiculous right we're gaining on the straight line come on s15 you got this on your right hand side yes how'd you like that beach but i done did it and y'all want to take my flow and run with it that's cool jay was the first one with it my character is always angry <laughs> and I can't even change the face. Now, once you've done your avatar, you can't change it. He's just an angry little chink. I'm really not looking forward to doing the later levels with a controller. This is going to be absolutely awful. Low-key, kind of tempted to buy a Logitech wheel just for this Let's Play. And we're going through into the second lap. And he is also getting whipped. We need to get onto those night tracks. We need to get onto those tracks which are actually, like, challenging. Although it probably doesn't look like it because the physics are so light. There is huge differences between this and like an R32, for example. This is a lot different. It's one of those things you kind of need to play the game to understand. Um, but for me, at least, I can tell huge differences between cars. It's really one of those games where if you play it for a long time, you're going to do a lot better as where if you play it for a short time, you're not going to do that well. Anyway, with that being said, we just won that race, which is the second one in the row on a bit of an undefeated streak. See what I did there? I think we're going to do one more race just to make sure that all of these easy races are done. And, um, and then we're going to move on next episode. I might do some of it off camera. Some of the easy races I might do off camera just to like catch you guys up um, to make sure that this, is, this, this series isn't boring. But we're going to go into the next race and hopefully it's a bit harder. Just a tad. Oi, mate. This one's for you. Ooh, okay. So it's S15 versus S15. Um, I do actually remember these kids from the actual anime. But I don't remember who, who and what they are called. But they've got an S15, so that makes them somewhat cool. So this is the first nighttime race. There's a few few cool things about these nighttime races, which I'll show you guys in the next coming episodes. You can do some pretty, pretty cool things. A lot of the tracks themselves have a lot of quirks. Like, you can actually use some of the gutters on the actual tracks to, like, use traction for to get traction. Um, little quirks like that. Again, it's one of those things that you'll only really understand if you do play this game pretty hard. Um, and this track, I don't think this track has anything specifically. It's one of those games that was you can really tell a lot of thought was put into the tracks overall. I can't explain how uncomfortable this is using a controller. I don't know what they did to the PS3 version. The PS2 version was actually playable with a controller. This is ridiculous. Right, let's get this done, please, because this is actually, like easy and it's taking way too long yo i spit that other shit that's a nice motherfucker shit fed time follow me around deep cover shit nigga you bear money i'm all year money i'm poppy you ain't got to count it it's all air money this is a tight exclusive change money because niggas got strange money knocked up fucked up fucked up in the game money i got bail money double xl money you got flash now your time of reveal money yay we win right well um yeah Nah, that was pretty easy. Right, we're gonna go into the customization menus because I feel like my car deserves some new rims. Ooh, this means that we've passed the first place. That's good. That means we've actually are making progress in this game. I, I didn't understand any of that. I'm assuming that just means we passed. Right, so this is the customization menu. I vaguely know what I'm doing. I don't really know what I'm doing. There was three options there. That if you if you just saw, I think one of them is cosmetic, one of them's performance, and the other one 
don't have a clue what that is. So these are the performance upgrades. As you can see, it gives you a little preview of what you're actually adding to the car, whether that's a roll cage, weight reduction, or whatever. Right, so here we go. So that's the front bumper options. It doesn't look like we have any unlocked, actually. Um, those are side skirt options, or maybe that's just because we can't afford it. Um, back bumper, spoiler, hood, no rims. I'm really, really hoping rims were in that third option. I've got a feeling the third option is like miscellaneous stuff. So it, go it goes performance, body, and then just everything else in between is in the third option. I'm hoping. Yeah, I found it! Right, so we've got exhaust options in here as well. So as you can see, the exhaust is changing, but that costs... 5,000 points, Jesus Christ. So we're gonna leave that for now and we're just gonna change the rim. Now as you can see, there is a lot of rim options in this game. From actual good brands as well, they're from actual like reasonable brands like Yokohama, uh, Rays, and it's basically from Japanese brands pretty much. I'm feeling these and maybe making the car like a time attack type car, um, like with a big wing and huge body kit. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy these Enki rims and go for that approach of it just being an absolute mad wide body because I think that would kind of really suit this car. So there we go. We've bought those rims and you know what? Just for good measure because we have got some spare points, we're going to go ahead and attach a big old exhaust on the back. And now we have virtually no money left. Right, so if you guys enjoyed this first episode of Initial D Extreme Stage, if you did, please hit the like, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more down in the comment section down below. But that's been it from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one you guys have been awesome stay safe and peace